everybody, it's Lissa I'm back again today with another real life paper crafting project. This is my card clutch. It's a cute little purse project that you open up and you can see I have note cards and envelopes in there. Isn't that adorable? I was so tickled when I came up with this that I just had to share it with you all. And let's learn how to make it today, shall we? We're going to start with a sheet of 12 by 12 pattern paper and I'm going to have it so that this is the inside of my pattern and this lace is on the outside of my clutch. I'm going to fold it end to end in a giant triangle and then fold up the bottom while it's still folded in the triangle, fold up the bottom about an inch and that will give us a gusset in the bottom of the bag. And don't bother measuring this. It's so easy, you don't even need to get out your scoring tools or anything like that. Alright, then open it all the way back up and take those uh, scores that you just did and fold them so that the middle one is up and the side two are kind of like a little valley. Okay, see that? That'll give us a gusset in the bottom of our purse. Alright, but flatten them back out for just a minute and we're going to take the left and right edges and fold those corners towards the center. And you want to center the points on that middle score line and also the top and the bottom. And then just flatten it out. And you don't have to be too exact with that. That just ruins it to me if you have to be so precise and careful about that. Okay, and those little panels then are going to be what holds our cards and envelopes from falling out of the purse. Very important. Okay, so then we fold it all back up together with that gusset in the middle. And that's our basic clutch shape. After we take these two points, just take them together and fold them down oh, about two inches from the bottom here. and then you know they'll, they're both folded equally because you did them together. But we're going to take the back one and fold it around flat to the back. Okay, now we're ready to make our handle and I used the Ticket Builder Punch for that. And it's really hard to punch through all four, four thicknesses at once so I just did two at a time. Insert the punch from the top and I'm centering it between these two points. That leaves us with a handle and a place to do our little locking mechanism. And then we're going to do the same thing on the back side. So insert the punch again, make sure it's centered, which mine is totally not. There we go. And punch. Now these two handles may not line up exactly perfect, but they're going to be close enough that it's good enough. Trust me. Okay, and then for the locking mechanism itself, I took two of the um, modern label punches and I adhered them together so they would be really strong. Just like that. And then folded them in half. And that's going to make our locking mechanism. Oh, I forgot to tell you. First, this gets glued down. So this is the only part of the purse that takes any adhesive at all makes it really economical too. So both of those get adhered. There we go. Alright, now we're ready to put our lock on. And what I did is I took my glue dots and put a couple of glue dots on there. I just did that backwards. Never fear, we can fold it this direction. And I inserted it through the smaller hole that the ticket punch made so that that folded, the, the part where you folded it in half is right there. Okay, and then on, for the front of my purse I put um, a flower punch and a big embellishment there so nobody will see that on the front. On the back you need it open because you're going to put the locking mechanism through and around down into the back there. And that will hold your clutch shut. And again here's the finished project. And that's the locking mechanism. Holds it shut just great. It's amazing how well it worked. I re honestly, when I came up with this project, I did not expect that to work, and it really does. It was kind of cool. So there you have it, a cute little clutch project. 
and I hope you will turn off the computer and go get in the craft room and give this one a try. Thanks for watching.